people. This episode is a couple of free camps that we've discovered. Uh, we'll start off with this one that we first found at Robin Falls. I was gonna do it all in one video. Uh, well, I've got a bit of footage there, so we'll do two, two parts to the, um, two parts to, to the uh, free camping spots that we've found near, near Darwin re region. Stay tuned, these are bloody epic, really good. You know how we said we didn't know where we were going? On to the next camp, which, which is, we... don't know. <laughs> Turns out, this is uh, where we are. Welcome to Robin Falls. Water is. And that's us just there. Mm. Can you see? Yes. Thanks. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Trying to go for a walk. This little one here wants to bring her bunny with her. I said she'll get, he'll get dirty. I know you won't drop him, mate, but he'll still get dirty. He'll still get dirty, mate, even if you keep him in your arms. Come on, mate, he'll be there when we get back. He'll be right there when we come back, all right? Let's go. Come on, Is she still standing there? Or is she coming? Come on, mate. <laughs> this is gonna be a battle. Still good. What's that? Oh, that's good. Really? Shut the door. Too many mosquitoes. So we didn't do much filming on the way back from the uh, the waterfall. Um, someone someone had a fall. Um, <laughs> went for the swim. Had everything set up on the, on the sitting up on the back of the hill there. Had the drone. We had the drone. My GoPro with the media mod on it, so it wasn't waterproof. You had my phone in my pocket. Had already finished swimming. We were up on the second tier there, and um, there's a straight straight slide basically into the water. And um, I'd done it earlier with Blair uh, as we were leaving. Jed goes, Dad, just go down the slide, it's heaps easier. <laughs> and I just kept going. <laughs> I was straight in the water. Drone, phone, keys, glasses, GoPro, everything. And, uh, yeah, we managed to save everything. We're still going, so hopefully it sounds all right. Phone's still still alive, and there wasn't bugger or water in the drone bag, so um, I think we escaped that pretty good. Bit of a laugh as well, so that's good. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Dad said he's thinking about shaving his beard off. Huh? Dad said he's thinking about shaving his beard off. Dad said he's thinking about shaving his beard off. Oh boy, that's a big call. 
Can you see me? <laughs> this place is unreal. Mm -hmm. We get to put our chairs in a drink. <laughs> it is beautiful. We're like literally backed up. Soul's not that great. Jed forgot to take photos before, but I was up standing on Ty's shoulders cleaning solar panels. Charging the razor. Yep, he's doing it. Are you doing it now? Hey? Yes, this place is bloody unreal. We've only been here for one night, but we're going to stay here again tonight. There's a bit of water that Reg can go in here. He's a drowned rat. Um, but the water says, this is called Robin Falls, this is. And it's, oh, the waterfall yesterday was good. But she didn't get in. Me, no, only, me and, only me and Dad went, me and Dad and Macy went in. So now we're going to quickly go into Adelaide River, do a few things. Get, get mum, talk. get mum's gin. <laughs> uh, empty the cassette because turns out it's all, not even that full. We've all relaxed a little bit being off grid, only for one night. <laughs> it's not even that full. But we'll do a couple. Sobering. Yeah. Sort of got you a bit choked up walking through there. Yeah, so we just visited the Adelaide River War Cemetery, which had a lot of history. I think I read that it, they needed a, a, a ground that was going to be easy to dig graves because there was going to be so many people that were going to pass away. They knew that it was going to, going to, going to be a lot. So. Yeah, and it was an old citrus, um, an old I didn't that citrus yeah. orchard, yeah, okay. I think. Yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of kids a lot of young kids oh. like 20s and 19s and yeah jed read one jed what was the one that you read about um, the outs the youngest one that was there he was 16. he was 16. Yeah. he was the youngest one that had been um buried in that that war cemetery yeah even the the bit in the middle there was so much bodies they hadn't of found bodies that they hadn't found and covered. it was all yeah it was the if you get a chance go 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 through adelaide river and go check that war cemetery yeah. out pay your respects and and yeah yeah it's uh it's very eye-opening yeah definitely. and i think if you don't feel anything when you're there <laughs> you're dead inside <laughs> yeah <laughs> beautiful space like as much as it's not a beautiful space it's a lovely garden um, they've, done, the they've, done, they've done it really well. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you could get there for a dawn service, man, that'd be something else, I reckon. Yeah, it was good for the kids because we could connect that to the dawn service that we'd been at earlier this year at Farina. Yeah. Um, and say, like, this is what we, you know, the, the small amount of uncomfortableness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that you're uncomfortable, you know, getting up early, standing still, being quiet. Being cold. Being cold, being hungry. I think that's a very small... But we just had to pay our respects. Pay our respects. We could be uncomfortable for a small part considering what these people have been through. So. Absolutely.
squids. They're doing the walk okay. I think it's okay round trip, even in crocs. Whoa. Um, yeah, so it's actually not too bad if you wanted to camp and walk with the kids. I did see a guy yesterday actually have his um, toddler still with a nappy on and he was climbing over the rocks with him in his hand. Looked like he'd done it before. It wasn't his first rodeo. Um, yeah, bloody brilliant. Have a look. Whew. This is just the walk. We're not even there yet. Wait till we get there. Oh my god. Sunny. We went to go get some firewood. Well, Ty and Jed went to go get some firewood and. Bridge took off. Bridge took off. I got to tell Swift book. <laughs> um, he just ran after the car. He just ran after the car. I went onto the highway and couldn't bloody find him. So I got on the. <laughs> Ty's come back in with the thing up. Put, yeah, I've. Put the GoPro in low. Oh my goodness. How good's that? That's beautiful. <laughs> so good. Telling everyone what happened with Reginald. Oh, don't get me started. So he, he must have bolted up there, up the road. And then mum was on the um, UHF speaking. Yeah. And yep. I had to get on the UHF because he took off after the car when you went to go get firewood. Yeah. When I was trying to pick that up, I call it Big Fella. Big Fella. Fire. Just get my first pinch. There you go. Sprinkle it on. Watch out. Whoa. Some of you OG viewers <laughs> might remember us on Royalty Beach with these things. blue things and I had the Coke bottle and I was just filling the Coke bottle up with my little tap and I was tipping it in the van there. Cerise, Cerise came up with a great idea. We started off because we, we progressed to a, uh, to a funnel and we are tipping it in the funnel and bloody hell, 25 kilos holding that for ages, tipping that water in that van was still bloody hard work. Sarice came up with a great idea to chuck the hose on the end of that. And then we were just sitting there with that 
tipping it in there and it was much easier. I just rested on the back tailgate there. Yeah. But then... We're brainstorming, trying to think there's... <laughs> Yeah, there's got to be a better way. We've uh, put the tap, <laughs> tap on the little, on the next one and it's going in, it's working. So... You can hear it. You can hear it going in, it's going slow, but... Oh no, that's nearly halfway already. Is it? Yeah. How you, good is that? You can hear the... Good, good, you good, you can hear it going in there. Don't tip that, that water. Jeff, Mace, leave that alone. Come away, please. Dust trickling in there. So good. Who needs a pump? <laughs> we need a pump. <laughs> <laughs> it's a head scratcher. <laughs> so earlier this afternoon, we um, went into the van and all our all our 12 volt was off offline. Uh, we had fans and stuff running in the in the van. They had a few like my phone and Teresa's watch charging. But nothing really too much. Mm. Everything is stopped and the everything. Like you went to put your phone remember, on charge. I can't remember if the battery management had a light on it or not. We thought it was orange, but it's really hard to see. I, like the, I feel it like actually I have to... orange means it's charging, but there's a flashing light, orange flashing light that's been on the last couple of days, and I it just don't said... have Starlink on at the moment to go search what that is. But anyway, we um, I think I put it down to that our solar isn't optimal like we're getting some good sun for a like short period of time but and if anyone else has done this we went hunting and searching and looking for things that are plugged in what's plugged in and then the black switch yeah we it, just we it, just what, what is it called is we it power cycle it power cycle power gave cycle. it a hard reset <laughs> <laughs> all that means is we turned it off and turned it back on again <laughs> and uh, it kicked, kicked back in and everything was going and we were still getting good solar at that time just for the if you look at the trees, like, yeah, They're well under cover, probably not the greatest place. Catch, to, catch but, 22, isn't it? Like, you go into the shade to try and keep the van cool because you're not using the air conditioner at night time or yeah. during the day, but then being in the shade means you don't get solar. So, yeah. so what, what do you do? We've just backed the car up and we're just Someone that walks that way. charging the Blue Eddy and the, and the van at the same time. So, things you got to do sometimes, and Tips. Yeah. yeah, it's not all waterfalls, and it's not the glamorous looking thing. We're just living off millions and millions of batteries but yeah we'll uh, get it done and uh, charge it up and we'll get through tonight and then we'll probably head somewhere a bit different tomorrow and by then everything will be charged again and we'll be sweet mm -hmm. so okay, that's... nothing like a bit of road work literally sitting in the road yeah all with matching hats it's so cute they look like they were doing their warm-up stretches <laughs> all getting in the work Oh, wow. What a little find that was. That was... Oh, man, that was unreal. It was beautiful. We were, we were pretty keen to get back off grid and get a free camp in somewhere. And we'd seen this one in Trip in a Van book. Um, Thanks, guys. And, and we'd seen it on the way through, actually, because we'd already been through Adelaide River. And then we thought, oh, well, let's go back and check it out because there was supposed to be the three-tiered waterfall and all this kind of stuff so we like oh, let's go check it out and man so glad we did so glad we did we <laughs> were only going to do a one-nighter and it ended up being a three-nighter and we've drained all our batteries but um <laughs> big summer blowout <laughs> big summer blowout <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> big summer blowout whatever our battery system says we need to charge it <laughs> so we're looking for power and water now but it is washing also. Yeah, not mad about it. Had a great time. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But just need to do some washing. It's not bad. But... We'll see if we can find another cool free camp. I'd love to. I'd love to just charge up and then go back off the grid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's see where we go.